I think we have to date erred too much in the direction of thinking that the problem is a lack of funds and that if we just hand students money, they'll be able to go to college and be fine. And uh, we have to stop thinking that that's the answer. It's like this conversation, a difficult conversation to have because of course, many students don't have enough money. So, but that doesn't mean that that is the core of the problem. And I think that in many cases, it's absolutely right that we should stop and think about whether at least any additional funds, of which there may never be any, so marginal funds <laughs> in one direction or the other, yeah. should actually go to some of the other things that have come up here, which include better ways of um, improving academic preparation, of providing, it's not just providing more information, we're, we're suddenly in this thing where we're just gonna provide more and more information and there are 27 websites that you can go to and find out what the net price of your college is, but that's not the problem. The problem is people don't know how to use information, they don't know how to access it, they don't know how to use it, the information is, is frequently not accurate enough to be used useful to individual students. So I think that that question of whether we should be thinking not about spending less money, but about spending money differently and really understanding the needs of students is very important. And as Harry mentioned, this um, Pell Grant uh, reform uh, that this group that I just chaired uh, through the College Board came out with a proposal that says really what we need is to make sure students are making better choices because they're just going off and going to college and then realizing it was the wrong thing to do. So I, I think we have to ask this question uh, about everything that we're doing.